Hey, thanks for tuning back into Middleton Motorsports. We got another video today. We're going to be installing some LED pod lights on this 2021 Bronco. This is one of the first editions we have. And we're going to be doing lots of accessories on, but we're going to go through the process of getting these pod lights installed today. All right, so these are the brackets right here that are going to be mounted right up here. So this plastic is on the metal here. We're gonna felt tape this, mount the lights, and then we gotta run the wiring under here to these wires here, which are co come from the factory, which are wired up to the six switches up on the roof there. So we're gonna show you how to check these wires and uh, get the wiring diagram up for you guys. So if anybody's wiring these up, you'll know which wires for what. So uh, we'll get that all listed for you. All right, I'm gonna start by felt taping this. All right, so we got the bracket ready here with the felt tape. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta mount this to the car first, and then we're gonna put this bracket through the light right here. And there's a screw that goes in each side to hold the bracket to the light. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this to the vehicle next. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to sneak the wire through the back here because there's a little bit of a gap in this panel here. It should come down around in here. I'll run it down and connect it with this harness that's already here. kit didn't come with any washers, but we just had some uh, in our parts department that we just using temporarily to get this fitted. All right, now we get to mount the light to the bracket. All right, this one's all tightened on and installed. We're gonna go ahead and install the other side and then we'll get on to uh, getting the wiring in, put in there and uh, how to wire it up to these switches that are already pre-installed. All right, we're on to the next step here. We're gonna be uh, doing the wiring now that we got the lights all mounted. So the passenger side needs to be extended all the way over and then we gotta connect them together, add the ground, the power, and uh, double check to make sure the switch is working properly. And uh, we'll just show you how we uh, do all this. So keep watching.
All right, so I'm gonna wrap this uh, harness here so it looks nice and we'll get it wrapped along this harness here so it stays nice and clean. You wouldn't even know it was aftermarket. All right, so we're gonna start by making sure that this wire here does not get in the way of these hinges. So I'm gonna zip tie it to this uh, washer hose here so it stays away from that. All right, so we got the wiring all routed to where we need it to be. We just gotta verify that we get the right wire hooked up. So I got the wiring diagram here. We'll, uh, it'll be in the video, we'll get it a little clearer for you. But it looks like um, switch number one is the yellow wire. So we're gonna just check it right now just to verify. Turn it on. All right, we're good. All right, so we got the right wire. We're gonna get that all wired up now. All right, so next step, we're gonna be actually wiring uh, the power and ground. So we got the yellow wire, we're gonna put both the red wires to that. And then we got a good ground point right here. I'm gonna run both the black wires to this uh, ground right here. All right, install and wiring is all complete. So we're gonna close the hood here. I'm gonna go flip the switch and see if they work. All right, looks like everything's good. So that concludes it for this video. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please leave it down below and uh, we'll answer any of your questions on the install process. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned for the next video.